When you're being a camera operator, it's not just about getting a good shot, it's also yeah. about telling a story. So when I go out on shoots, I'm always looking to value add. So it's not just, you know, you're always thinking about what you can shoot and how you can best shoot it in the time restrictions that you have because, you know, in the era I work in, we never have a lot of time to do much. So there's that knowing when to compromise, knowing when not to, but doing the best you can in that time. But it's also listening out for, like, you know, when, the, when we're interviewing talent, if they're sort of talking about a particular interest or something, then sort of going, OK, well, I can shoot a sequence of that or I can shoot a sequence of that. Or if I walk into a space sort of recognising, you know, sort of you know, something, oh, yeah, that would look good if we shot something over there because the light's really good. That thing of sometimes because it's a... You know, because shooting such a team thing and the editors aren't there on the site and you've also got a journalist that writes a script in the meantime, I mean, you have to be prepared for the fact that what my vision might be may not be the same as the, the journalist, may not be the same as yeah. the editors. So, you know, there's a lot of factors that come into play. So it's while I'll sort of go in and have a picture in my mind that, OK, this is what this is going to look like, so I'm going to shoot it like this you have to be prepared that sometimes it doesn't always come out that way. It is always new experiences and you're always meeting new people, but by the same token, there's often stories that are a bit seasonal. So, you know, you do end up sort of coming back and revisiting, if, you know, if not the same story, you know, the same type of story quite often. So, you know, once you've done, you know, anything long enough, there'll be a lot of things that it becomes, OK, so, yeah, this is this story, so this is where we're going to go, this is what we're going to see when we get there and this is what I'm going to shoot. So, you know, a lot of things you, you know, after a time you know what to expect and therefore you kind of know, you know, I mean, you're always looking for something new or a new angle to it, yeah. but, you know, but it's always, you know, you talk about the bread and butter shots, you sort of know with certain stories that this is what the bread and butter is. Well, the best advice would actually be in this day and age is that you really have to be multi-skilled. I mean, I'm probably the last generation just about of single discipline sort of operators where I only shoot, I don't really, you know, I can fumble through sound if I have to, um, but I, that's, you know, that's what my job is. I'm a specialist camera person. But, you know, most of the jobs that are sort of out in the world now, it's like, you know, you actually need to be able to shoot, you need to be able to edit, you need to have a yeah. bit of a handle on audio, and if you can write, you know, and produce and even do web design, then that makes you the full package, which makes you a lot more saleable item because there's a lot more jobs now where that's what people are calling for. You know, they, they don't just want a camo or an editor, yeah. you know, or even a journo. It's like they want the whole package. The mobile phone. That's actually been the biggest change because uh, that's what started the 24-7 news cycle effectively because before then it was obviously crews went out, you had a two-way in your car, but other than that you were uncontactable. Once the mobile phone came in, that's when suddenly people could get strung out to do job after job after job after job and chase things. So, right, yes. Spend, yes. Yeah, well, it was more just the, yeah, just, just covering more stuff yeah. because then it became a case of, oh, this is happening over here, so, you know, oh, you know, Steve, whatever you're doing, drop it now, you need to go and do that. Or, you know, we need three crews over here now, let's do that. So whereas before it would be like, oh, well, you know, everybody's out, we're just going to have to wait till someone pops up, whereas now that's, you know, so that's actually changed everything.